Did you know you can measure headphone active noise cancellation with soundcheck, as well as standard acoustic tests such as frequency response and distortion? When measuring noise canceling headphones, there are three important measurements to make. Passive attenuation, active attenuation, and total attenuation. Passive attenuation is the amount of noise the headphones block out without ANC enabled. Active attenuation is the amount of noise ANC blocks out. Total attenuation is the combination of the two measurements. We even have a pre-written sequence showing off this functionality called noise canceling headphones available on our website. You will need a head and torso simulator or an acoustic gear simulator with an artificial pinup, at least one speaker for background noise generation, and a set of headphones with A and C. The first measurement is taken without headphones on the hats, the unoccluded measurement. The pink noise stimulus is played out of the speakers, and the signal from the hats is recorded. Next, the sequence pauses while the operator places the headphones on the hats, then makes the occluded measurement. The sequence again pauses for the operator to enable the headphones active noise cancellation, and the third measurement is taken, and the results are calculated. This test can be modified to work with a diffuse, multi-speaker configuration, and in an environment with two or more speakers, both ears can be measured at the same time. Our new AmpConnect 621 interface has six inputs and two outputs, so you can even measure both the left and right channel simultaneously, while also generating stereo background noise. Using Soundcheck's new multi-channel RTA, you can measure the acoustic seal of both the left and right headphone channel simultaneously, and even visualize it in real time. Also, with the multi-RTA and an external reference measurement microphone positioned immediately next to the outside of the headphone, you can play any complex signal you like out of the source speaker or speakers, such as real recorded background noise from an airplane, and watch in real time how the noise attenuation changes. This is a more realistic representation of how the ANC circuit responds to dynamic signals. There are many ways you can modify this sequence. For example, instead of playing out of one source speaker, play out of multiple equalized source speakers to create a more realistic spatial background noise environment. With the new signal generator's delay offset feature, this is much easier to do. How do you measure active noise cancellation? And what are your favorite noise canceling headphones? Let us know in the comments below. For more information on all things Soundcheck, head to our website at listeninc.com.